<laughs> old memory lanes. So I'm actually going to take a walk to the decision desk and find out what's the deal with Michigan, what's the deal with Minnesota. It was so fun the last time, so we're just going to – but, you know, stakes are different this time. Tell them I miss them. We haven't called the election. We're actually just finding out why we haven't called the election, why we haven't called a couple of these key states. And it's a much shorter walk, thanks to our new studio. Here we are. Hey there. Here's all our guys. Hi, guys. Hello. Arne Mishkin, the man of the hour. How you doing? Terrific, Megan. How are you? We meet again. Yes. <laughs> all right. So what's the deal? First of all, let's talk about Michigan. What's the deal with Michigan? Why can't you call it? Uh, right now, we're still waiting on some vote from Detroit and other places. And so it, even though it, 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 clearly Trump has a lead, we're not prepared to call it yet. Because Detroit is considered heavily uh, yeah, democratic. Heavily democratic area. All of you. Thank you. Thank you. It's a pleasure. Honored to work with these guys. Back on over to the decision desk, well, away from the decision desk and back to the anchor desk. Look, Karl Rove stays seated. He didn't challenge anybody. That's true. <laughs> and there's no bad blood between Karl and Arnold. So that's, that's because we did call somebody with 911 votes separating the two candidates. Oh, right. Were they yeah, right or weren't not, they? Let's not relive it. Were they that's right or were they right? It. Woof. It's a painful moment. It's, uh, <laughs> okay. We do love them. It is wonderful to work with them, but we would really like to make some calls. I think it begins possible. with an M. 